it comes to relationships, it is no lie that men and women can hardly agree on anything. And today we are going to be talking about the 50-50 rule. I am your host, Yinka Oladera, and to help me out with the conversation are my beautiful guests. All right, so do you guys, when I said 50-50 rule, I saw hey. it on all of your faces. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, what's going on? Hey, can we yeah. talk okay. about it? All right, no problem. Well, let's ease into it, right? So the 50-50 rule states that if I'm in a relationship with you, whether we are courting each other or we are married, everything should be split 50-50 meaning your emotions is split 50-50, your time, finances is split 50-50, huh? expectations is split 50-50. Mm. Where? You where's your, where's your, where's your, where's your, where's your, That is what the 50-50 rules say. Like, huh? When you yeah. say finances, she's like, huh? What's, what's, I think, what's that? It's, it's, it's your money is your money. My money is my money. My money, <laughs> my money is my money. Your money is our yeah. money. It almost sounds like trying to put relationships into a mathematical <laughs> equation. Yeah. yeah. And it's, life doesn't work like that. Exactly. Like, so I, I don't buy into the... That definition of the 50-50. Okay, so what's your definition of the 50-50? It's not 50-50. Oh, it. <laughs> like, it's, it's, it's an ebb and flow. It's yeah. a tight thing. So, yeah, it's a partnership. So, yeah. And it shouldn't really matter. The minute is we're counting, like, oh, babe, like, you check up on me, or yeah. you do this, or you, you got this last time, that's scheming. Skipping you know? so that's all I'm saying. Like, it's not, it's not about that. Okay, so to me, let me just play, you know, say you and I are dating, hey, you know? We're, we're together, a, we're loving mm-hmm. it. Hey. But, um, babe, I just feel like, since we're dating, mm. and the Bible says, he who finds a woman finds a good thing, yeah. I think you should just take care of everything. I don't think I should pay for my cell phone bills. I don't think I need to buy myself data. I don't need to buy my clothes. I don't even need to feed myself. I think you should actually put me on an allowance. Let's say an allowance of maybe like 700K a month. Ching. I think that works out well for me. Ching. And I think you should take care of everything. You need to go back to the 70s and find a husband. Oh, okay. That will take care of you that way because at the end of the day like you say times are even hard first of all and the girls are even grinding even harder so I understand so there's no way that my wife my girlfriend maybe not my girlfriend I could understand my girlfriend you know we're still trying to package each other but my wife is going to be earning uh, one maybe she's earning like let's say two million a month or whatever and then she's now saying oh because I'm the man she's not trying to buy groceries she won't sh- she won't eat. You understand? <laughs> what I'm really trying to say is that if I have to give you X, Y, Z every month, then you're my staff. Wow. <laughs> you understand? Wow. It's true now. You get it's a partnership, and we're in a relationship together. Yeah. If it's nice and it's sweet, and you have the more, and you feel like we need this, you get it. If not, you know, I'm not the man for you. Now, not to dis- discourage any girl that's listening that wants that type of thing, because there's some men out there that feel they need to handle everything. Yes. It's a thing about like, you know, confidence or whatever. Yeah, I'm not that guy. It. I'm the guy that we're literally going to grow and build together yeah. so that what's ours is ours because we built it together. together. Basically. I Can I ask you a quick question though? Mm. You said that if she was earning two million mm. and she wasn't going to do anything, then she yeah. would not eat. Yeah, yeah. Is this um, regardless of how much you are earning? So let's say you bring home nine million. Nine? 50. Yeah, I know. I actually currently I make like 9 million a month. Okay. So it's Ooh, there we go. Okay. Okay. So 700k a month. Okay. So if you're making that much. If you're making, <laughs> <laughs> so to me, if you're making that much and it's really not about the uh, the amount for yeah. you, is it, it? Would it still be a problem? It will still be a problem because so she, more, that, that means that she's also. coming into the relationship feeling entitled mm. and mm. she's not. You get. Well, she shouldn't be. I don't think it's like he said, you shouldn't be in, it's not an ob- thing of obligation. Mm. But I feel like with love comes sharing mm. and caring. You're not thinking about what this person is doing. You're looking out for the person. Mm. So I'm not going to be thinking, oh, you spend two million naira. If I have money and I love you, the last thing on my mind is how much I'm spending on mm. you. I'm making you happy. Your happiness comes first. Yeah. So for me, her. it's not how much you spend. It's a love thing, like you said. Yeah. So it's just the sharing is part of it. Mm. Correct. I, but I'm sure, sorry, yeah. I'm sure he's not saying that, you know, he can't on his own mm-hmm. decide, you know what? I don't want you to whatever. I'm earning 15 million. You're earning two million. Let me just be yeah, doing this, that, and the other. Yeah. But if you are coming on an entitled yeah. thing, yeah. like oh, since you are doing this and I'm doing this, you're going to be doing this, that, yeah. that, that. I have taken it upon myself okay. to think of specific scenarios. Okay, so first date is the man paying or are we going Dutch? Real man talk. Is man is the man, man is paying. paying. I would not feel any type of way if you know, it's a conversation where like we meet, we're hanging out, 
or we're talking and she's like oh you know what let's do lunch or let's do dinner yeah i was gonna and say she what decides she to pay like you? i'm not gonna feel some type of way because really i'm want, very yeah. confident no 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 i wouldn't because at the end of the day it's, it's more it's 6k or 10k like do you get me paying doesn't mean anything and her pain also doesn't mean anything if you are gonna come to a re- nice restaurant like we are here at tai tai mm. would you expect him to pay um i wouldn't no thing it is depends. I, I, yeah, it depends on who initiated it, it yeah. you know. So but you guys are dating. Yeah, yes. but then sometimes he would want to take me out. Sometimes I, I would want to take yes. him out. So it, if, if, he, if he tells me, oh, what are you doing today, babe? Let's go out for dinner. You're paying. If I tell you, oh, babe, I want to take you let's out. try this new place. I'm paying. Take this same relationship, right? And so you guys, six months, you've not elevated to a year. And he's, you know, babe, I think we should start living together. So then you guys start living together. Who pays for the rent? Oh, we're not living together until we get married. <laughs> That's about, well. exactly what I said about if there was a situation <laughs> where that had to happen. He's paying for the, I don't understand. Why is no, that a question? But you're also think, living in the house. No, I think, Still. I think at this time where if, if we're making a decision to live together, then we're very close. Mm. We know a lot about each other, including our finances. Mm. Yeah. I think we're going to do what is practical. How much are you earning? How much are Am you I, earning? Yeah. You know, how much can we afford? Okay, but Sharon, yeah, you're now that's saying that's yes, but when, the, when it came up, you think. said he was paying. Because Why did you say he was paying? You pen? said, you guys have I assume he already has a house. If I'm dating, you're not going to be living in your father's house. Wow. Really? Or oh, I try to get... Pop out. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> well, at my age, I'm not going to be dating you too. Oh, let's see where it's going. As I'm like this, if I'm dating you, we're dating and it's heading somewhere. But what if he still lives in his father's house until he gets married? I don't live in my father's house. But <laughs> what if, what if, uh, but I'm because sorry. Lagos is hard enough as it is. Lagos All these rules though, that like, we now put, it's I'm unnecessary. Sorry, right. I honestly don't even have it's unnecessary pressure on the man. No, exactly. no, 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 I no. As much money as it you depends. can save when you are single, exactly. save it. At least you know he's having less sex when he's living with his parents. Exactly. No, wow, no. Oh, that, that, yeah, yeah, that escalated <laughs> real quick. Okay. I, I would definitely pay for the rent. Like I feel like that one is something that you know you just have to do. Other things, like you said. You're not talking about that now. It's rent we're talking about. So yeah, rent I'll pay for your house. I'm the man of the house. It's my house, you know. Um, that I'll do. But yeah. other things in here, maybe like you know, when let the light finish, you know, yes. those quickly top up, all those kind of things in here, we most definitely do that. But rent I, I will pay if we not decide to go and live in LA or somewhere where rent is expensive and it's a dream of ours to go there for six months and all of that. Then in here we might now have to have that different conversation. But yeah. in this Lagos, even if it's Banana Island, she wants. Oh, you smart, you loyal. Hey. <laughs> Wait, Mimi, would you ex- would you be okay with that type of agreement? Him paying for the rent? Mm-hmm. Would I be okay with him paying? For the, rent? <laughs> <laughs> the reason why I ask is right. So the fifty fifty rule is stating that because we're both living inside this house, we're both mm. using the toilets, we're both using the the kitchen, everything that we should just pay. It should be fifty fifty because a woman does not want a man to feel like he has some type mm. of power over no, her no. because he is paying more. No. no, I don't think him paying for the rent will make me feel less of a woman because. There are many other ways that I will come through for the house. If he's paying the rent, I can do the groceries, pay for the light, fill our cars, okay. you know, make food available. Okay. So in my own way, I would contribute. But him paying the rent doesn't make me feel like, oh. Okay, so now let's flip the script. Let's assume that it was your house and he's now moving in with you. Who's paying for the rent? Who's, who's that guy going <laughs> No, 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 you guys, though. Guy like, no, you, you, she lives in a house, you live in a house, he mm-hmm. lives in a house. Yeah. You guys said you want to move together. Her house is nicer. It's we'll nice. find it's a just, nicer it's house. It's nicer. It's a prime, prime location. It's a prime location. Yeah. Yeah. The price is good. Yeah. It makes sense. So, excuse me. It excuse makes me, sense me, to me, move into her house. Me. A house that maybe... When we're not dating, she was a single girl there. Oh, mm-hmm. Lord. That's what I'm saying. Why? Ego. Well, well, she has tell memories you. in that house. But memories so do you in your own house. house. Well, maybe I'm even mad. more. <laughs> even more <laughs> memories. <laughs> I'm mad. Even more. <laughs> First nah, of all, nah, it depends on how that, that house Definitely. was gotten. If it was my dad that gave me the house, like, oh, my daughter, take this house and stay mm-hmm. before you get married. I don't mind my boyfriend, but if I was the one renting the house. Yeah, you're renting the house. This is your house. You found it. You've decorated it the way that you want. You know, your appliances are on fleek. Mm-hmm. Everything is great. <laughs> my own appliances are We uh, own our kit and stuff. Yes. That's troublesome. Love now it. what happens? No, no, say it loud. I'm no, with proud. your chest. With your chest. <laughs> 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 I'm sorry, but the moment you move into my house, mm-hmm. you're going to pay. Wait, yeah. because no, no, wait, wait, it's please, my house please, and please, my please, rooms. Repeat that sentence again. The moment that you move into my, my house, hmm. where I've been living, where I've been chilling, where I've been paying. Let's say, ego aside, 
you have agreed last last you're going to move into this babe's house mm. are you paying the rent i'll take up paying the rent but normally i wouldn't do that the only scenario where i see that that would possibly be possible is this maybe she lives in england and i live in lagos and then we decide to i decide to move out to england yeah. for like mm. a year and she already has a house you know then it makes sense and then i would definitely chip in at least 50 percent to what makes the house run now, if we both live in Lagos, I would not be moving into our house. Let's it's not even fine. paint that scenario. Mimi, <laughs> yeah, because I, I still maintain that it's about being practical. It's about what makes sense at that time. So, mm -hmm. or you, you live on the mainland, for instance, she lives on the island. Mm -hmm. You both work on the island. Now you've decided we're moving in together. Let's stop thinking, I'm moving into his house, I'm moving into her house, you're moving mm -hmm. into my space. Mm -hmm. No, I like because the practical. Yeah, it only makes sense. But you, make, but you know, you would, no, 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 no. But no, 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 no hear me out, though. Hear me out. Like, so it's more practical. You both work on the island. She lives on the island. So you decide, okay, let's move in together. I already have this house on the island. Mm -hmm. It's a good price. Doesn't it's a good location. To... It doesn't make sense to start to look for another house and start right. to pay agency fee and this and that. Mm -hmm. Let's move into my house. Once you make that decision, though, it ceases to be your house. Mm -hmm. So it, who's it, to pay? It's our space. So, who... so and who's then, paying for our space? Yeah, let's put it that way. Then you have those conversations, you know, and there's but no, maybe if there's you no are in that situation. situation. Yeah. You love the guy. Mm -hmm. You already know that you guys are going to get married. Yeah. You're moving into our space that just happens to be your old house. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Who is paying for the rent? Honestly, I would like for him to pay. You know, that's the kind, that's, that's what I would like. I think I need a girl like Mimi. That's what I would like. Mimi is the kind of girl that if I don't have a job, will be practical and she'll take care of me. Yeah, let's be practical. Like, every girl needs to be practical. Yeah. Every girl I would do that. Let's say that you guys are now engaged. You can see the wedding that's like there you guys are like three weeks away or whatever do you think that you should be 100 percent open about finances absolutely absolutely before the wedding absolutely. i would have known that like wait for probably going engaged okay yeah. too many your face <laughs> i mean what do you mean by open i don't understand what do should you she know about? exactly how much you make exactly how much is in your bank account right at this moment I reckon oh, I, I, I reckon I would, be, I would be hundred percent. Who's got The way you put it that way, it sounds a bit serious. Exactly how much is in your bank account, mm. I, but I should know how much generally you're you worth, earn. how much you earn. You know, mm -hmm. I should know. Yeah, and and, yes. and 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 you should know mine as well. No. Yeah. You're you're starting a life together. You're mm. going to be responsible for other lives. Like this is this is a not huge not deal. Joke. It's a huge deal. You need to know. You need to know for sure exactly what but, you guys but, have, exactly the kind of lifestyle you can but afford. But if, if Timinish asks me today, can you marry me? I'm not going to say yes because I don't know the kind of life you want. Yep. I don't know your plans for children, for instance. Yes. I don't know where your finances are at. Exactly. So I will not be saying no. So the thing you will is, not be saying yes. I won't be saying yes. Sorry. Timinish <laughs> <laughs> so <it's> confusing me. <laughs> so the thing is, if, you're, if you said yes in the first place, you already know these things or you yep. have a very good idea about these things well, and at the point where anybody will be any man will be open enough comfortable enough to tell you about his financial status you guys have to have gotten to some certain level of closeness yeah. my thing is now that in that certain level of closeness and in that space where you guys are so close if you don't like what you hear you leave him no why would i do that and then so that's what i'm saying but this this so conversation would you, have come up before the for, wedding oh. you know even when you're married and there needs to be a decision about the household so no 50 50 or What's going to happen? What kind of decision about that? Um, so, for instance, your husband gets a new job offer, mm -hmm. you know, and it's going to pay him three times the amount that he's paying now. Mm -hmm. um, but he's going to have to relocate to, let's say, Cali. Yeah. Is that something that you guys talk about? And of course. Of course. One million percent. Okay. That we are one and we have a family. You can't yeah. Okay, so then, so what if your wife now says, no, we stay here in this Lagos? She well, can't I mean, she she can say, say no. no. <laughs> Wait, why can't she say, I'm confused. You guys just said yes, it's something that we talk about. No, but what you she talk, about, you talk about it and reach a decision together. together. No, but if her opinion in the conversation is no, because right? it's going to be two opinions. Opinion. So she has to no. find a way to figure it out. Yeah. Yeah. saying that we can reach a comp that's what marriage is yeah, yeah but what i'm saying is exactly. marriage is also trusting the reason the reason the reason marriage is also trusting no. the man to lead marriage and make is the best marriage decisions. is also trusting because the woman what? that you married yeah, to what think trusting and each other a decision about that makes sense you know, yes. that's the thing. you can't win with all these women other. yes that's true how we get with the program let me tell you the thing about it is like he said this is my it's his work so he's passionate about his work the fact that they're trying to even promote him transfer him means he's very good at what he's doing right Right? Oh, he's going to so now I'm not going to make him feel less because now what if he this is a, it's an opportunity what he has been working mm -hmm. this promotion is what he really really wants they now say if I'm promoting you but we're, we're sending you somewhere else mm -hmm. I'm not going to come and make him feel like your effort is in vain I'll, his feelings are important 
But I also tell him, look, this is where we are settled. Our kids have school here. I'm working here as well. What are the options there for me? So, excuse me, please. Can I can I just say something and drop yes. my mic? Yes, yes. Okay. My thing is, for example, in a company, right? Everybody's good. We're all professionals. We're all skilled at these different things. But there's someone that you have to trust to make those final decisions. If not, you're going to spend your marriage bickering back and forth. So, even the things that are not as drastic. What are we doing this weekend? Kids want to go this. This and that. We can talk about it, but sometimes the man is going to be the man and he's going to be the one to say, okay, this is what we're doing, final. She might not be happy about it, but that's what it is. And that's, that's the way that I feel as it is. Obviously, dialogue is key and all of that, but sometimes, a lot of times, more times than, than often or whatever, how do you say that in English? The man is going to make those decisions and, and that's what it is. Okay. It's a very good idea for you to share the bills together. Let the lady pay some part of the bill, let the guy pay, depending on your salary, really, really. So it's about understanding each other. I'm still of the opinion that in a marriage, the guy is the provider. The man is always the provider. That's, that has always made the status. So I think the guy should provide, even if his wife is working. It's not that bad. Are you getting it? Either you're a Christian or Muslim. But as far as African continent is concerned, like I said the other time, we think a guy or husband should take responsibility of the whole thing. But in a home that you want to have a peaceful home, then they're able to share. If you're not going to be 50 50, I'm not going to agree on a 50 50. Depends on income of both husband and wife. But you are, I can let you assume you are having the same amount as your income every month. Then the guys who are not as much as produce try to take 75, while the lady say 25. That's the way I see it. Uh, actually, in the Bible, the Bible said we are helpers of ourselves. We can help ourselves. But no matter how, whether it's finances or it doesn't have money, if it should, if on a moment that she paid, I have to respond her back because it's my duty. Because woman cannot, at least, woman cannot be, woman is not the head of the family, it's a man. So it's my duty to pay. She can pay, I can pay. That's why I say it depends on how my pocket is or was when she asked me out. Because uh, you woman believes what good for Gogo is always good for Gaga. Thinking back to our conversation, uh, the general consensus, 50-50 rule, Yes, no, just yes or no, yes or no. 50-50 rule, yes or no? Yes. No. 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 Well, well there we what, go. What's your, what's your? Mine is 50-50 Yes rule. or no, yes or no, yes exactly. Or no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, 50-50 rule, yes or no, I say so yes. Say yes. <laughs> I say yes, I say yes. Because it doesn't have to be on, um, it's not on specific things, it's just the totality. And at the end of the day, everything should feel even, right? So I should feel like I'm bringing as much into the relationship as you are, whether it's finances, whether it's emotional support, no matter what it is, it should be 50-50. But one thing is for sure that there is a 100% chance that men and women will never agree. So that one, <laughs> that one we have proven today. Thank you guys very much for being on the show. Thank you for... Um, Give me your opinions, because that's why we have Real Talk. Mm -hmm. And thank you guys at home for watching as well. Be sure to drop your comments and your opinion down. Like I always say, just because the conversation ends at this table doesn't mean it has to end at home. Be sure to also follow us on all of our social media sites at Indani and use the hashtag Indani Real Talk. Thank you guys once again. I'm going to dig into this room. Thank you for having me. <laughs>